Whoa, check this out. Have you guys seen anything like this before? You might even have this set. I can make this like a little tiny hat. You guys like this hat? Cool. There's all sorts of craziness going on with this. Whew. Seriously, if this was like a video game, and Lego had the expert mode, this would be like master mode. Like new game plus, my mind's still blown. What's up you guys, welcome back to Pick Me Up Scotty. I'm Scotty, and check it out, yeah! For all you modular fans, there is another way to get a modular that's not available from Lego, but it's made with Lego bricks. Check it out, yeah? This looks kind of crazy. It really does look insane, man, look at that. Oh, this is a lot like another brand that I did over here, yeah, over here. This one is totally different. It's made with a Lego set, but it's turned into this instead. So this is Lego's 10253, the Big Ben, which has been flipped into and converted into this alternative build from rebickerable.com called The Lounge. The person who made this is a designer that goes by the name of Hua Zhou I'm not sure if I said that right or spelled that right, and it's 3,803 pieces. So this does not use the entire Big Ben set, but it uses all the pieces within the Big Ben stuff. However, I had some issues when I came across this. I'll explain that to you later. So this one is actually my very first alternative build I have ever done. And I didn't build the Big Ben. I immediately opened the box, sorted out all the pieces. It felt so wrong tearing numbered bags and sorting them into pieces. I was like, no, what am I doing? And I went to a website called rebrickable.com. They're absolutely awesome. I'll put the link in the description. They have alternative ways to rebuild your Lego set. So it's actually adding more value to your current set. Look at this, crazy. This is actually quite over the top. Let me just read you the description from the designer himself. The lounge is a place where the upper class comes to relax after a hard day. With a stunning view of the sea and exquisite aura of exclusivity, this high-end modular will be the highlight of any city. It provides a great way of ending a row of houses without resorting to the boring road plates. That is certainly one way to describe it. So first of all, round of applause to the designer who made this. Yes, because there's no way I would be able to make this. And he did it, he finished it. The manual is available to buy, support the local guys, support them for building this kind of stuff. When you buy this, you get a download link for the PDF and you get the Lego designer file as well. So if you have the LDD software, you can open that and use that, which I don't know how to use. I use the PDF. If I really had to nitpick about the set, it's the angle of the PDF is really bad. Everything kind of floats. You don't actually build it from the bottom up. You have to build everything separate. I'm talking about like the wall separately, all the items, and then it comes like into place. And at some point it really got frustrating. I couldn't see where pieces were supposed to go. And it showed like some pieces floating until you go to the next step and you're like, oh, it goes under there. So, oh. But I have to commend him. It looks really crazy. It really doesn't look like a lounge to me. It looks more like something out of Game of Thrones or it looks really, I don't know. As usual, let's work our way from the bottom and work our way up. On the front, it's all tiled, very nice. They have a couple extra studs here. You can probably like put more plants there if you want to. I like how you put all the flowers here on the front. And you got this little thing that extends out supposedly to the ocean. It's actually kind of cool, I like it. I like the look of that. Actually, the minifigure can go on there and step onto the plate and look over the ocean. And I like the little, like, the upside down flowery that almost looks like candles. Glass door was a pain in the butt to put together. I mean, the, the construction piece of it, which you'll see more on the inside. It's got sliding door, it works, it's totally functional. There you go, open and close. Come here to the side. Now, like I said, you don't build it from the bottom up. You have to build everything separately and it kind of sucked from some of those angles and I realized I was wrong. And I think that's gonna happen to a lot of you guys. But maybe that's just me or maybe I should have used the Lego software, but I don't know how to use the software. I kept like zooming in and out and like deleting pieces by mistake. I'm like, forget it. I'm a new guy. I'm just gonna try to focus on the PDF. So bad thing about PDF, can't see where the pieces are going. But anyway, it kind of looks like a little mountain that's just on the side here of the building. So that was really neat. I totally dig this piece though. It looks really cool against the water. Like it has a little bit of structure that goes into the wall of the building and it just looks kind of different. It's nice. So besides this little mountain above the windows, and by the way, the windows have no glass on it. So you got this lovely airflow going through the building. But anyway, above the window, you got this emblem there and it looks cool, simple, nice. And if you want to have a quick rotation, yeah, that doesn't look so good. They're just plain walls. But we've seen other modulars that kind of do the same idea. They don't really care about this. They just want to see the side right here. Above the doors, a bunch of little statues. And then you got all these little faucets pieces and these little aircon vents right here. 
this thing is just like sitting there. And I, I went back and I checked everything and it was just like that. Why? Why is that missing there? So that can fall out and it's just floating. Like, come on, man. Or maybe that's me. Maybe that's my problem. The rest of it is all in there. Okay, and you got the sign here on the front that is really heavy. It says rich. This thing will top over so easy. Look at that. I wish it was mounted on a little bit better or stronger. But I like how it says rich, but it is certainly different. And maybe this bottom piece of the H could be changed out for a transparent piece. You know what? The set looks really, really gaudy. It's very flashy. It's extravagant looking. It looks really complex. Now, some of you may just hate that because most of the modulars are like really simple. This one is just kind of crazy, man. It's like all over the place. I commend the guy for actually building this. So value, you can always knock it back down and put it back to your big bend. So let's take off the second floor and take a look, see if I can pull this off. I hope I'm doing it in the right place. Here we go, here we go, yes. We did it. Okay, there we go. Look, yes, it does come off. Okay, so when you walk into the entranceway, it almost looks like a wedding chapel kind of thing. You got this little walkway, it's all grand looking. I like that, I actually like that. It's all tiled inside. Yes, thank you for making it tiled inside. I really appreciate that. And they also put little studs here and there so you can put your mini figures in different areas. I'm not quite sure what's going on here. They got a counter here. I'm assuming that's a counter. It's a lounge, so that must be a bar. And you got the seating area here. That's really different. What is this area underneath the clock? Is that like a fountain? I don't know what that is. Toilet? That can't be a toilet, it's all outdoors. There's like two counters. You can sit down there, I think, and eat. You're supposed to eat or drink? I'm not sure. Now on the staircase side, you have this crazy thing. I don't know what that's supposed to be inside. It's like a street lamp inside a display case. I do like the display case. I thought that was actually really cool. You see here on the side of these walls? Man, those things are real pain in the ass to put together. Can I say that? I'll censor it. At least I got it together. And you have this wall of glass right here. And just so you know, the very top of the staircase can be a little bit loose there. But honestly, I haven't had an issue of it falling down unless you're gonna have a minifigure walk up here and go, oh, let's look at the second floor. You wanna make sure if you do take this off, you kind of lift it up because there's something in here. That's pretty big, put that there. That's a big statue, man. So as you can see, there's a gap here. Can you see my finger? There, right there. That's the staircase where it comes up to this second floor. Look at that figure. It's like a huge guy with a spear. I'm not quite sure what the backstory is on there. Designer? Mr. Designer Hao Jozu, if you do see this video, I hope you can find it and you leave a comment down below. Do you have a story about the statue? I'd like to know. Where's that coming from? What it's doing? Or why it's there? Or is it just made up? So you come up the staircase, and there's only one direction the minifigures can kind of walk around. They have to go past this tables here. There's some decorations on the walls, like paintings, plain, nothing there. No stickers, thank goodness. You know, at least they have studs here and there, but they've tiled the rest of the room. And it looks kind of tight to get into the sofa area, and they have a little table there. That sofa looks so uncomfortable, man. The studs sticking out like that. Who would want to sit there? But anyway, that is the second floor. And that's about it. Now on the outside of the second floor, what's more pain in the butt stuff to put together? These pillars on the side, I'm telling you, man, they were hard to shove in there and I just couldn't see the angle right. And I think I got like about 95% of the manual correct. You can see right here, it's a little bit different color on that piece. I'll replace it later. But from the set of the Big Ben, I actually did start to run out of pieces. That was what the PDF was trying to tell me to use. Unless I misused a piece from much earlier, I noticed that there were actually like three or four bricks that I was missing. I don't know if that's like a fault or that was me, maybe it was me, I'm not sure, but you might have some missing pieces. You just have to use some other pieces to figure that out yourself and replace it with whatever you have for the time being. So I do like the decoration here on the outside. I think it's actually really cool, it's different. And like I said, it was a little bit of a pain in the butt to put that together. But as you can see, it's holding up. It's pretty sturdy, not too bad. Overall, after following the build and putting it all together, I'm pretty okay, pretty happy that I managed to actually follow the guy's PDF, though not all the pieces and parts were there, for me at least. You probably can't even tell which parts were missing. Let's come to the rooftop here. This is the final bit. I'm not sure if I did this correctly or not, but it looks cool. There was no problems putting this together. You can see underneath there. I think he's just like, let's lose all the leftover pieces, but you can't take this piece off. This is like the roofing part, and this is the wall part of it, there. 
This was a nice little touch along the back though, the little figures along the wall. That was interesting. They're like carved into there, kind of spooky. The rooftop looks fine to me. I think it was actually pretty cool. It's just a little bit tricky on the edges. When you put the pieces together, be careful, it might come loose. But I love the little arches here along the window. And I like the corner here where that protrudes up. I don't know if I have the directions of those things right. So this part was actually okay to build, but I noticed one thing by the time I got to the second end of the second floor was that everything, like I said, is built separately. So you have to like put all these pieces that are not connected together and then put things on top. I I hated that, but I found that toward the end, it's all gonna slot down anyways. It was okay to actually look at the PDF ahead of time at, toward the end of the build and see where things lay down and then kind of work backwards that way. That kind of helped me a little bit. But, you know, the rooftop is a little bit fragile. Let's kind of come pop off here and there. Just have to be careful with that. And we'll put this plate back on. Don't get too frustrated. You know, you might throw pieces here and there against the wall. Hits dimension times. Here's my base plate. Now for all sides, it is 32 by 32. So the designer is very clever to use the original plates that came with the Big Ben to equal it to 32 by 32. Very cool indeed. And I'm gonna rotate this a little bit like that. And I have my height brick set here. And this is exactly 26 bricks in height. So you guys can measure yourself by using a one by four brick there. Like go knock yourself out, measure your space. And you know, if you really wanted to get technical, it's probably like two more extra bricks higher if you wanted to touch here on the tip. There you go. Just so you guys know, here's all the spare parts for the build. It's all the Big Ben stuff. Man, there's so many things you didn't use. You had like this thing, you probably could have used this to hold the sign up a little bit better. You had like the clock pieces that weren't used. Maybe you could have put it on the back here like that. You could probably just do that on your own. So there you go, lots of spares. Yeah, so there it is. This is the lounge by Hao Zhou An alternative build from Legos to Big Ben. All you need is the manual, which is I think like 11 bucks. It's available on rebrickable.com. I'll put a link in the description. If you wanna have the guts to build it yourself, go ahead, man. If not, let me know what you guys think. You want more rebrickable stuff? Let me know, and I'll get back to you next time. So until then, brick me out. Pacha! What a pain in the butt this was to do, seriously. Oh my goodness. Was it worth it? Riach. Riach B. Okay, I won't do that. Kid friendly, kid friendly. I guess you have to be really rich to go in this building. I don't know. Dear, there's a fork up ahead. Which way you want to go? You want to go left or right? Left says haunted house, right says Riach. I don't want to go to the haunted house. I bet you the campers are in the rich place. Let's go there. If you say so. Dear, shut up, man. I'm trying to get used to this RV. Scotty, you think this is where the campers are? Hmm, I'm not sure, dear. Yum, 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 yum. Dear, are you serious? You just ate at the camping site. What are you doing, man? We're supposed to find these guys. Okay, okay. So how do we get in? Whoa, did you do that? That wasn't me, man. You think the haunted house would have been less scary there? Well, Scotty, it's so grand in here. This would have been a better place to get married than that other place. Dear, I have no idea what you're talking about, man. But yeah, you're right. This is actually pretty crazy looking in here. Ooh, I like the bar here. Let me get you a drink. Sounds good to me, man. Ooh, I like this area. It's actually pretty comfortable for me. And what would you like to drink, sir? In that case, I'd like a medium dry martini. Lemon peel, shaken, and not stirred. Wow, this looks so beautiful. Even though I have no idea what I'm looking at, it's still very expensive looking. Oh, I'm getting kind of buzzed, man. Might as well just go pee here. This looks like a toilet. Dear, we lost track of time. I'm going to go upstairs and try to find these guys. This looks like a water fountain. I'm going to try some of this. Mmm, it tastes kind of sour. Yuck. And what's this thing on the wall? It's like a switch or something. Look at that painting. I'm tripping out just looking at it. Whoa, what was that sound? Dear, are you coming up here or what? I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Dear, what was that sound earlier? Uh, oh, nothing. I didn't do anything. Whoa, check out this painting here. It's green. It's like the color of money. I guess you could be rich to come up in here, but hey, I don't see anybody, man. It's like totally empty in here. Yes, buddy. I don't like the sound of this place. Dear, just, just chill and relax, man. You got nothing to worry about. We're all good. No one here. What, that big statue? 
who dares awaken the statue? Uh, Scotty, um, I think we should get out of here. Who pulled the switch? Uh, I'm so sorry, sir. I was just trying to find our, our friend. Have, have, have you seen them? If I had seen your friend, they would be dead right now. You better run while you can. Dear, run! I'm going! Scotty, hurry up! I'm coming! How do we make it? How do we get outside? I don't think that statue can make it out here. Let's get the hell out of here. I'd rather go to the haunted house. You'll never make it out of here. Oh, oh no! Yeah. You don't think I can jump from the top down? You pathetic figures. Quick, dear, run! It's okay, Scotty! I got you! Let's go! You cannot run! You're mine! Ah, uh, dear, he got me! He's taking me back to this lair! No, Scotty! No! What do I do? What do I do? I gotta save Scotty! I gotta do something! I gotta... I gotta... I got it! I can ram this wall as hard as I can! One, two, three! What's that? No! Scotty! Scotty! Are you okay? Are you okay? I got him! Please don't die on me! Scotty! You gotta wake up! Come on! Oh dear, I'm just really hungover, man. I'm good. Oh, we got to get the hell out of here! Go to the other place right now! I'm gonna throw this damn statue's head right into the river. I'll never ever hurt anybody else ever again! Don't put me in the river! Goodbye, you freaking head! Don't you dare! No! My rich lounge! Come on, Scotty! Let's get out of this place! We still got people to find! Yeah, you're right. But there's one more thing I've got to do. Please support Sky and the air. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And you will be back with more. I will be back in my newest lounge. You just wait, Scotty. And I want my hammer back. <laughs>